Hello. We're continuing solving the gateway questions in the 104 gateway. Um, this is problem number 22. Uh, it wants us to solve for y in the following equation. 1 over x plus 1 over y equals 1. So this problem is slightly different than some of the ones we've seen because the term we want, y, is in the denominator. So uh, we'll have to keep that in mind as we go through this problem. But the first step is much the same, to isolate the variable. Essentially what that means is we want to gather everywhere where y appears in this equation, we want to put all of those terms on one side of the equation. So we see that y appears on the left side in the denominator. So what we're going to do to isolate all the terms that involve y is to move this 1 over x term over to the right by subtracting it off. So now our left, the left hand side is 1 over y and the right hand side is 1 minus 1 over x. So we see that the y is isolated here. Next, what we are going to do is since y is in the denominator, it might help to multiply both sides of the equation by y. So what would happen if we did that? So here I'm going to multiply y to both sides of this equation. Well, on the left, y cancels with the y in the denominator, and we're just left with 1. On the right, we have y times 1 minus 1 over x. Now at this point, it's worth asking ourselves, do we want to distribute this y or not? Well, our goal in the problem is to solve for y, to get y by itself. And as it is in this equation, y is sort of neatly factored out out of this term. So we don't want to distribute. Now, since we have factored out the variable that we want, the next step is to divide, namely by the, this product term that does not involve y. So we're just going to divide this 1 minus 1 over x term over to the left, and now on the right, we have y. And the left, we have 1 in the numerator. And our denominator is simply this term we've divided by. And now we're done because y appears alone on one side of the equation. And there's no need to simplify. You can enter this exactly as it appears in the gateway exam.